Okay. So today I'm going to do, uh, going to change the weather stripping on my 70HTA, the lower seals. I got new soft seals, part number 3015. So let's get at it. Tools you're going to need for sure are a Phillips head screwdriver. I've brought this fly head just because I've never seemed to do anything without needing one anyways. And I brought this funny looking tool. If you don't have one, get one. If you've got an old car with crank windows, the only way to get the crank off is to slide this thing in here and pop. There's like a little C-clip back there. Because originally I thought I could change it out without having to remove the interior door panel. But it seems that there's another Phillips head screwdriver back here. So I'm going to have to take off the whole interior door panel, which I didn't think I was going to have to do. So there's a screw that holds, there's two screws that hold this on right here. So we'll start disassembling this, and then we'll get to the door seal. gasket in here and there's a c-clamp that goes in there like this you got to take this funny looking tool here and you're going to slide it in like this and push out the c-clamp sometimes it takes more than one try to get it to get it off taking off the interior door panel. You gotta be careful because there's a whole bunch of little clips that hold them along and they're about 40 years old so if you pull too hard you're gonna break them all off when you take them off. So you just gotta pull real gentle. You want to pull hard and you want to try, you're gonna see they're spaced out so you want to try to pull them with the panel as you pull, as you pull it off. So that way they stay inside the door panel. You see. And like I was saying, there's these plastic clips. Like, that's not even an original one to the car. Because I know I've changed that one because I've broken it before. The original one, I took it off before. And these little metal clips you see here, they slide in like this. And they go like that. Right there. So they have a tendency to come off when you're taking it off. Also, it's just cardboard. So if you're too rough, it's going to break. It's 40 years old. So this is this little clip I was telling you about earlier that holds on the uh the window crank handle see how small it is yeah so without that funny looking tool to get in here and push it out you're going to be fighting this thing all afternoon okay so now i've got all this off now we're up to the part where i've never done this before i've had the door panel off before but now we're going to be removing the weather stripping so now as you can see right here there's a phillips here a phillips here and there's another one here and there's also, these are the factory seals of the car. I've never replaced these. They're the original ones of the car. And GM put a ton of weather stripping sealant all in here. And it's black. So I don't have any black ones, so I'm not going to be able to put on the other one today. I have Permatex weather sealant, and that is, um, it's yellow, so it's going to look like crap. So all I'm going to do today is basically take this off and then try to clean this up as best I can.
Wow. Yeah. Well, you can see how finished they were. So, see there's these little clips here that slide into the door. Same as the replacement ones. They've got the little clips right here. So this is how we're saying how you take your trusty flyhead screwdriver in here. And I'm actually going to use this because I don't want to scratch my paint. That's not going to work. I'll have to grab like a rag or something. Because I don't want to scratch my paint. And I can't. Oh. Well, the little pins aren't coming with it, but the seal on too. Move on to the next one. ended up staying in the door rather than coming out with the weather stripping and they're kind of really in there if you're like me you're not blowing the car apart you don't want to damage your paint you don't want to just you know, go crazy what seemed to work the best for me was is I take a rag and I put it in between the paint and I grab some needle nose pliers like so and then I just pry it out like that that way you're not going to scratch up the paint as you're coming off you see okay so I went on the google machine see how I can get this stuff off here because uh, I've never taken this off before and every, everything I found said that you should use 3M adhesive remover. Well, I don't have any and everything is on lockdown right now and I don't know where I can get some so I'm not sure what to do. The next best thing they said was to use WD-40. Okay, so i going to add a little bit more here and we'll see. All right, well that part's done. I'm feeling a little bit more positive now because at first it wasn't looking like this was gonna go too well, but look at that. I just went on uh, YouTube and I Googled a few videos. So what they recommended is that actually less is more in this instance. A lot of people have a tendency to just lay it on really thick and they said, you don't wanna do that. What you wanna do is you wanna put a thin layer of stuff. See, I didn't know. So you put a thin layer and then spread it out a bit. And you put a little thin layer on the weather stripping itself and let it get tacky. Like, wait a couple minutes and then add another tiny little layer here and then you're ready to start putting it on. So I went ahead before and before I even started, I wanted to test fit to see how this fits, you see. And this goes just like that. So I know I'm going to have to put a little bit here a little bit here and then I'm gonna put I'm gonna run a bead along here like this that's how it was when I took it off and I'm gonna run a small little bead down here and I'll spread it out so here's the adhesive I'm gonna be using it's 3M part number is 8008 it's the black one so here we go also when they're spreading it out They've got these big fancy wooden sticks, you know. I don't have that, but the kids eat popsicles, and I've got a popsicle stick. So that's what I'm going to use. So. This stuff is like, it's pretty gooey. Actually, very gooey. Okay, and I'm going to run a small bead down here like this. That's how it was when I took it off. So I'm only putting a very small bead.
I took the original off, it didn't have wither strip and seam all the way around it. So, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put it on like that because well, it wasn't there, you know, when I took it off. So, plus, after seeing how hard it was to get this stuff off, I wouldn't want it on the door either. Initially, I wasn't very happy with how uh, the seal was sitting at the top of the door here. Uh, off camera, I came back and I added a little bit of weather stripping here, and then I put some tape down here to try to hold it down in place. And <clears throat> I also did that at the front of the door. Now, one thing also I hadn't considered yesterday is that once the interior door panel is back in, it's probably going to help push down on this and keep it in place so that's one thing I hadn't considered See what I mean by how it doesn't fit a hundred percent perfect. Oh well. Maybe I uh, didn't do that right. No. Same. Here. This is the original 40 year old one. You can see how it's all beat up and bust. The door panel goes on top. So I did that right. Okay, so now I'm basically just gonna finish putting all this stuff right here. your handles to be symmetrical like you know you want them to be in the same spot on both sides perfect perfect and there we have it so now the passenger side is done and you can see what uh what I thought was going to be just an afternoon job turned into uh, a lot more work. I'm happy it's done. I've had the seals for a little while and I just kept putting it off. Uh, and now that I know what I'm up against, the second side, I'll know what I'm doing to. So I'll show you. I'm going to show you with the new seal and the 40 year old seal, just, just so you can see for yourself. All right. So there's a brand new seal, just to give you an idea of, you know, they look all nice and pretty. One thing I did notice, you can tell the seals are new. I gotta, they're still like breaking in, I guess. So you gotta, you know, work a little harder to. The door is closed. See here, you can see, look, it's actually flaking. Here is completely split. It's all busted up. So, next I'm going to start on this side. So, so, once again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.